Well, I just finished chapter 5, and I can't resist. Chapter 6 is a dinky little thing, but it's got a few drinks in it. So, I finished off this. And even though it doesn't start with a drink, I'm going to have one anyway. Try some more of this. Lime beer salt. Twang! Yeah, twang! <laughs> they, it's from twang. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ooh. Boy, it just wakes it right back up again. Look at all those bubbles. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm, different. I kind of like it. And now... King Benjamin thought it was expedient, after having finished speaking to the people, that he should take the names of all those who had entered into a covenant uh, with God to keep his commandments. And it came to pass <laughs> that uh, there was not one soul except it were little children, but who had entered into the covenant and had taken up uh, and taken upon them the name of Christ. Chip bags? They promised. But you can always sucker those kids. You can believe almost anything. They're so meldable. What's that word? A Jesus camp term? They're so useful. Is that it? Usable? Nice. Isn't that just sweet and loving? Yep, yeah, useful. They, they, they hold those bomb vests up so nice. Oh, that's right. Wrong bunch. Give them time. And again, it came to pass that when King Benjamin had made an end of all these things, and had consecrated his son Mosiah to be a ruler and a king over his people, like, what, two, three chapters ago? God damn! <sighs> and had given him all the charges concerning the kingdom. Makes sense if he made him king. And also had appointed priests to teach the people I mean, all right, fine, whatever. Not leaving him much to do, huh? Getting clear, cleaning up house. Tying up loose ends. Yeah. That thereby they might hear and know the commandments of God. And to stir them up in remembrance. Boy, that phrase keeps coming up, doesn't it? It still sounds boring. <laughs> uh, of the oath which they had made. <coughs> oh. oh, that was a tough one. Oh. Get caught in my throat. Yeah. Stir them up into remembrance of the oath which they had made. He dismissed the multitude, and they returned, everyone according to their families and to their own houses. Because you wouldn't want to go into someone else's house and start living there. And they come home, it's going to be a problem. And Mosiah began, uh, uh, that's right, Benjamin just going out to pasture. And Mosiah began to reign in his father's stead, and he began to reign in the 13th year of his age. So he's 13 years old, okay. Uh, making in the whole about 476 years from the time that Lehi left Jerusalem. Hmm. Yeah, which is, of course, uh, yeah, 124 uh, B.C. Got 124 years before J.C. even pops up. And they were already worshipping his death and resurrection and splattered blood and all that shit. Pretty morbid. Uh, 
and King Benjamin lived three years and died. Thank you. And it came to pass, and so did he. <laughs> that old fart. <laughs> he can be happy joining the rest of the dust, because he seemed pretty fixated on that. <sighs> and... It came to pass that King Mosiah did walk in the ways of the Lord. Yeah. Is that Samuel and Kings and Chronicles? We're using their terms now. Yeah. And did observe his judgments and his statutes. <coughs> Ooh, that was better. And did keep his commandments in all things whatsoever. He commanded him. And King Mosiah did cause his people that they should till the earth. And he also he put their asses to work. That's what you say. <laughs> Mush, bitch. <sighs> and he also himself did till the earth. Yeah, he probably faster. He's right behind him. <laughs> He's helping. <laughs> uh, that thereby he might not become burdensome to his people. Right. Castro felt the same way. That he might do according to that which his father had done in all things. And there was no contention among all his people for the space of three years. Peace the fuck out. Benji's dead. Yay! Let's close the book on his dusty old ass. <laughs>